I come to announce to you there is about to be a resurrection for somebody. When you don't exercise your faith, it will not be strong. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. We must continue to be hearing the word of God. This is Get Connected with Bishop Israel Adey Ajala. Hello and welcome to this encouraging edition of Get Connected with Bishop Israel Ade Ajala, God's servant to the nation and creator of the kindness revolution. Today's subject is one that will truly minister to you. It is the ups and downs of faith. And now here is Bishop Israel Ade Ajala. Have you ever been in a situation that seems as if the, you, are, you are on the top of the world? You are on top of the world. Everything is working well mm. and you are sharing testimony and everybody is looking at you and they are praying and they said, let me be like that brother. Let me be like that sister. And then a few weeks later, it's as if you've, you know, God has forgotten about you. And, and, and you become attention of prayer calling everybody please pray for me it seems as if nothing is working and people begin to wonder why you not the same person who was sharing how great god is just a few weeks ago well if you are in that situation you are not alone a whole lot of people go through that and i call it the ups and downs of faith the ups and downs of faith one moment you are way high up there the next moment it seems as if everything is is being is being taken out of under your feet the, the, the and, and and hear this there are a lot of people that are going through that in the church yes. one moment they they are giving a special dance boom, 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 and you are seeing them dancing mm -hmm. dancing dancing mm -hmm. you know the church dance you know those church yeah. dance with dance in our churches yeah. and, and and then and then later on the same person is facing huge depression mm. the ups and downs of faith the highs and lows of faith when those times when your faith is high up and then another time when 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 your faith is low i look at the life of a man that i want us to look at today to encourage you that when your faith is high keep praising when Amen. your faith is low keep praising Amen. whatever you wherever you find yourself never stop praising god david said in psalm 23 he said the lord is my light he was at the height of his faith the lord is my salvation whom shall i fear in other words bring it on I'm a man of faith, bringing up the Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? I have seen situations whereby people would just talk. I am, I, bring it on. He said, when the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemy and foes, they stumbled and fell. You see, he said, though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may arise against me, I will be confident. Ah, and then he said, I desire one thing to do in all these things, and that is to dwell in the house of the Lord. Look at this. The Lord is my light. Look at all the words that he used yes. to describe God. Light, salvation, strength, stronghold. I shall not be afraid. Now, my question is this. Where do you go to first when you face challenges? Is it to God or to friends? Mm. Is it to the word of God or the word of man? Is God your first response or your last resort? Wow. Whom shall I fear? It talks about a man that is bold. In the face of war, yes. I will be confident. And because God is my God. That's the height of faith. He, he, God is my God. I know whom I believe. I know whom I believe. 
you know, have you ever been around people that kept saying to you that greater is he that is in me yeah. than he that is in the world and so on and so forth? Yes. A man was, a man was on the ring as they were boxing and the opponent was beating him and was beating him and every time he would go to his corner, his trainer would say, Fred, that bomb barely touches you. Keep fighting. Don't, 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 don't mind him. And, and, and after a while, the brother cannot see anymore because this opponent just keep mm. pounding him. And then they went to the corner and the trainer said, Fred, he's barely touching you. To which the man said, if this guy is not touching me, keep your eyes on the referee. Somebody is killing me. <laughs> you know, it's not just sugar-coated word. No. The reality is God is your God. It's a declaration and it's an affirmation. You are releasing an, an announcement. This is a faith declaration. God is my God. I will not have fear. I will be confident. What are you mm -hmm. facing? Whatever you are facing, as you are listening to me today, declare it over yourself. God is my God. I will be confident. I will not fear. It doesn't matter what is going on. It's good. Declare it. His focus is this, though. He said his focus is not the enemy. His mm -hmm. focus is God. Yes. He said, I want to dwell in the house of the Lord. That's the key there. The reason your faith is high is when your focus is God mm -hmm. and not your problem. When your focus is God, your faith is up. So when your, when your, when, when your focus is God, you have strong faith. You know, sometimes you get to a place where people turn against you, your money is funny, nothing is working, you know, and, and, and all you need to look for during that time is a window of being able to go into God's presence, not to mm -hmm. run away from God's presence. Some people, as soon as they, are chal they face challenges, they will not come to the church anymore. Right. They say, well, That's true. Bishop, I'm trying to sort it out. You can't. You can't on your own. When you face challenges, that's not when to run away from God. When you face any challenge, that's when to run to God. Yes. Because it's your strength. David said, it's my strength. Now, 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 as we are talking about this, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, David was talking in verse 7. He said, hear, O oh Lord, when I cry with my, with my voice, have mercy upon me and answer me. All of mm -hmm. a sudden, he's going through the low time mm -hmm. of faith. Mm -hmm. Lord, I need your mercy. I'm the one that was saying you are my strength, but now I need your mercy. When you said, seek my face, my heart said, your face, Lord, I will seek. Look at verse 9. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not leave me nor forsake me, O God of my salvation. In other words, I can feel you, God. It seems as if you are distant. But he just announced that Lord is my life, is my salvation. I shall not fear. I don't care what's going on. You see, there is a place, brothers and sisters, when sometimes you are going through the low ebb of life and things are coming at you. <clears throat> Do you know what those things come to, to test? The authenticity of your declaration of faith. It has not come to destroy you if you don't let him. It has come to target your faith. Yes. Jesus said to Peter, Satan has asked of you to sift you so that your faith may fail. Mm -hmm. So the goal of the enemy coming against you, coming against your finances, coming against your family, coming against your career, coming against your health, is so that your faith could fail. He, he, and you may be going through that time right now that it looks as if the faith is not there. I come to say to you, locate the house of God. Amen. Don't ever let the circumstance dictate where you will be. You belong to God. You belong to God. You belong to God. 
you know, in verse 13, look at this. Look at how he ended it. In verse 13, David says, I will have lost heart unless I had believed. If not because I believe, I believe in the person of God, I would have lost heart. He said, yeah. but I am sure of one thing, I will see the goodness of the Lord in this land. Yeah. I will see, the, I prophesy over you that are listening to me, that are hearing me. No matter what you are going through, you will see the goodness of God in this land. He said, now he now give you an encouraging word. He said, mm -hmm. wait, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. The Bible says those that wait upon the Lord shall renew mm. their strength. Yes. Your, when your faith seems to be low, wait on the Lord. What do you do while you are waiting? You are praising God. You are serving God. You are blessing God. You are memorizing the word of God. You are speaking the word of God. You, are, you, you, know, you keep busy in the presence of God, yes. in the house of God. Don't celebrate your problem. Celebrate the Messiah. A lot of time we speak too much about the problem that we never mention the problem solver. That's true. So he said, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. He shall strengthen your heart. Wait again, I say on the Lord. I don't know who I'm sent to, to speak this word to today. You are going through a time that is difficult. And it seems as if God hid his face from you. And you are known as somebody of faith. You know what the enemy wants you to do? He wants you to withdraw to yourself. He doesn't want you to let anybody know you are going through that. Because you know why it's so easy for us to kill snakes? Because mm -hmm. they go singly. If wow. all the snakes in the world comes at you at one time, nobody will wait. They will run. 10,000 snakes cannot be killed with one stick. The okay. reason the enemy wants to withdraw you from the fellowship, from the committee of believers, is so that you can feel defeated, abandoned. Nobody loves me. And self-defeat is greatest defeat. You will not be defeated. My God will see to it yes. that whatever you are going through right now, you will be through. And when you are through, there will be testimony. I'll be right back after this. Thank you, Bishop. What a word you have shared on the ups and downs of faith. Yes. And Bishop, I know that you are speaking to many of our listeners yes. in the listening and viewing audience. We'll be back with more. Stay tuned after these announcements. If you are in need of food or you know someone who is in need of food, join us for our free food bank every Thursday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. here at Kingdom Connection Christian Center. We are located at 1391 Oswego Street in Aurora, Colorado. For more information, give us a call at 720-859-1737. Join us for our August oil change. You will not want to miss this powerful anointed service. On Friday, August 26th at 7 p.m. at Kingdom Connection Christian Center. Call us for more information at 720-859-1737. You can download our app, A Day Ajala Ministries app, on the Google Play and Apple iOS stores. Watch us on YouTube at A Day Ajala Ministries. Please like and subscribe to our channel to receive notifications. Remember to follow us on Instagram at Bishop A Day Ajala and connect with us on Facebook at Bishop Israel Ade Ajala and Kingdom Connection Christian Center. Welcome back to Get Connected with Bishop Israel Ade Ajala. The subject at hand, the ups and downs of faith. Bishop, that is such a real message uh, for many of our viewers and many in our listening audience. 
Uh, Bishop, you shared so many powerful concepts and, and powerful things from the Word of God, but one that stands out to me is that you shared how that when you are in that downward spiral mm -hmm. of your faith not being where it was, let's say, two weeks ago mm -hmm. or a month ago yeah. or six months ago or a year ago, mm -hmm. you find yourself straying and pulling away from the church. Yeah from other believers yes. and the enemy has a solo mm -hmm. conference with you. Yes. Bishop, what would you share for those who are in our viewing and listening audience who are literally in that situation? They pulled away from the church. Mm. The first thing the such people must realize is this. The only way Satan will win is if you follow his game plan. Game, the game plan of your coach determines whether you will win or lose. Your yes. coach is Christ. Don't follow mm -hmm. the game plan of Satan. Satan wants you to withdraw. So what would I suggest to you? Go back to fellowship. Go back to fellowship. The, realize, number one, God loves you. You are not going through this alone. When you go through challenges, God is there with you. God feels your pain. But simply because God feels your pain, is going through it with you, would not, does not mean he would do anything until you call. So during this time, call on him. Spend this time to call on God in worship. Worship is the, is the, is the, is the, is, is the key to the breaking down of strongholds. Worship like never before. Spend more time in worshiping, in thanking God, in praising God. Number two, look for somebody to be of help to. Nothing mm. dwarfs our own pain than when we see ourselves becoming an answer to somebody else's pain. Yes. It just minimizes what you are going through. Mm -hmm. When somebody else can look up to you in spite of what you are going through and say, thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. If not for what you did. Number one, one thing that that does is that it puts Satan in his place. That you can never cut me from being a blessing. So number one is that you go back, you begin to confess the word. Number two, find somebody or someone in need to be of service to. Yes. Number three things you must do is you must increase your intake of the word of God. Amen. Your Amen. intake. What do I mean by that? Spend more time in the word. You are never alone when you are in the word. I yes. can be in the word and never leave my house for a whole day because mm -hmm. you are never alone in the word. When you don't spend time in the world, you actually will live in another person's world. Until mm -hmm. the word of God creates your own world, you are living in the world of the politicians, in the world of your, of your culture. Yes. I try as much as possible to uh, ensure myself live in the world created by the word of God. So. I, I, I bury myself in the word, study the word, memorize the word. That word shapes the way I see things in the world. Mm. So I'm That's not good. moved by what you are saying. In fact, somebody was saying to me, oh, you are great. And he was trying to eulogize me. And I said, thank you, thank you. And I said, all glory goes to God. And he said, you just said it flippantly. I say, I have learned two things. Number one, praise must not get to my head. Number two, insult from man must not get to my head. Yes. So whether it is praise or insult, <laughs> it doesn't bother me. If it is not in the word, it cannot shape my world. But if I found it in the word, it is enough for me. I'm suggesting the same thing to you. It may not happen overnight. But start practicing staying in the world longer. 
comp no, not only that, obeying the word more. This is what Joshua said. He said, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. Yes. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. But you shall meditate in it day and night. Mm -hmm. He didn't say day or night. Yes. It is both day <laughs> and mm -hmm. night. Some people meditate during the day. They don't meditate during the night. Yes. When they are going through challenges, then they have sleepless nights. Instead of them to be meditating on the word of God, they are meditating on the word of man, the word of Satan, the word of fear. Yes. And he says, indeed, you should meditate day and night. To meditate means you are thinking about it, you are confessing it, you are declaring it. Meditation mm. is not just thinking, that's yoga. Meditation means you think, you speak, you, de you declare it. Yes. You, you speak it, you pronounce it, out of your mouth you think it as well and yes. you become what you say and you become it you see mm -hmm. that is one of the things those are the things i would suggest to you to be able to do look david did the same thing he, and then david also know the importance of prayer yes he did. prayer he, he, so when you when, when you go through that and the enemy is causing you to withdraw you know that's a spiritual warfare right there. Rebuke the enemy. He said, resist the devil and he shall flee. Resist. How do you resist him? You resist him with the word. Mm -hmm. You don't resist the devil by thinking it. Right. Jesus was tempted by the devil after 40 days and 40 nights. Jesus was tempted. He was hearing the voice of Satan in him. But Jesus was speaking the word the out. Word. It is written. Yes. So, so you pronounce the solution. I am not alone. God said I should not forsake the assembly of others. Now, also, make up your mind that you will not believe everything you hear around you. Mm -hmm. except it can be found in the in word the of God. Word. Don't believe them. I don't care who is saying it. I found out that Christians have become the tool and the instrument that Satan is using to confuse, in order, to confuse other mm. Christians. Yeah. Christians would just, I mean, they meant well, but they have not studied the word. You know, they are just repeating what they've heard. Somebody <laughs> said, somebody yeah. said, the person who said he said it under different circumstances, maybe he even said it under the influence, who knows? <laughs> and you are quoting them as if that is the valid word. Mm -hmm. In Kingdom Connection, everybody must go through the Bible at least. I suggest that, I challenge them, go through the Bible at least once every year. Why? He helps you to know what is in the world. And so somebody, I don't care their title. Especially if they have megaphone, they are put on the television, they have the money to buy airtime. That doesn't yes. make them mature. That's true. No. No. Some mega donor just give them some money, they are able to. Mm -hmm. That does not, don't, don't mistake that to mean that their ministry is valid before mm -hmm. God. No. Check the fruit of their life. Check the fruit of the life of their members. Yes. That is how you know a genuine teacher of the word of God. The word of God must teach you. Every book informs the word of God transforms. Every book informs the word of God transforms. It must transform you. It must bring a change to your situation. That's why you must never be tired of the word of God. Regardless, what are you facing? Declare God is my God. I will yes. not fear. I will be confident. It does not matter what I'm going through. Let your focus be God and God alone. David was looking at God. He was not looking at the enemy. When Peter was looking at Jesus, he walked on water. When yes. he began to look at the storm, he began to sink. The same Peter. But who do you look at when you are, when you are facing challenges? For me, all I need to see is God, even in the midst of chaos. Mm. No, I see God. Look for God everywhere you go. You always see what you are looking for. Don't look for That's problem. Good. 
You, Great uh, word. Uh, if you don't look for it, you won't find it. Great word. Don't look for problem. Don't look for sickness. Even if sickness is showing himself in your body, look for healing. Yes. When you <laughs> seek, good. you find. Mm -hmm. When you seek, you find. When you seek, you find. What are you seeking? Mm -hmm. Is it sickness or healing? Seek healing. In fact, he said, we have laid before you life and death. He said, choose life. Choose life. So whatever you are choosing, make sure that God is your focus. You know, just looking unto God through his word yes. brings the presence of God into reality of yes. your life. Yes. And when the presence of God becomes reality, your faith goes up. You won't know when you will shout, devil, you are in trouble. You know, people must see your life and they must see that of the truth, it doesn't mean that of the truth that God is with you. It does not mean you won't face challenge. Hear this. Challenges are breakfast of champions. Champion. You are a champion because of the challenges you have overcome. They overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of testimony. They overcame by what Christ has done and what you too are declaring. By what Christ has done, the blood of the Lamb, the word of their testimony, your own declaration. Both are important for you to be an overcomer. I pray with you now as we go and we continue next week. Father, I thank you for my brothers and sisters whom you have called by your name. Every challenge today become a testimony. Mm -hmm. Every sickness become a testimony of God's healing. Yes. Every poverty becomes a testimony of supernatural provision. Your people will return with testimony. I decree and declare that every pain in that right leg, sister, is going away right now in the name of Jesus. I curse sugar diabetes. Every cancer, I remove it from your life in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that that brother that just lost his job, God is bringing a new door that is opening for you with testimonies to back it up. You will not be disgraced. You will not, be, you will not fail till we meet again next week. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you for joining us. This has been a presentation of the radio ministry of Bishop Israel Ade Ajala. For more information, contact Bishop Israel Ade Ajala by email at info at kcconline.org or by phone at 720-859-1737.